you're back with us on Afternoon Express on SABC3. It's a Thursday afternoon. We're preparing and launching for that weekend that's ahead of us. And the Vodacom Durban July is also going to be happening. And it's a major, major social and fashion event on the South African calendar. But also, it doubles up as one of the biggest highlights on the sporting front. Great news for horse racing enthusiasts as we have betting expert Dean Finder in the loft with us today to give us some final horse racing tips before the weekend kicks off. So, Dean, we've unpacked quite a lot about what it is and how this is all going to work. But the big question is, how much does this event make? Like, how much do people eventually end up betting on a weekend like the Durban July? So, it's got a few dimensions to it. It's, it's a huge betting event. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of, 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 of the racing purists and punters you know, stake a lot of money. There's 12 races on the day. There's lots of exotic bets. There's lots of different options. But it's also great for the economy of KZN, of course, because mm. you get a lot of visitors and tourists coming in. So there's spend all round. It's, uh, the restaurants, the hotels. I mean, if you try and get into anywhere now, you've got no chance of getting yeah. in near Durban. So from a betting perspective, it's probably the biggest betting horse racing event in South Africa. Wow. The, 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 um, what the about numbers, met, though? What about the, numbers? Close to 100 million. Wowza. Bet. Wowza, wowza. Yeah. And if I'm one of those people who wants to put money down in a race like this, I mean, if I'm a punter, is that what they're called, right? Someone Correct. Who, who bets. Uh, like, how much... You're going to be a punter soon. I'm going to be. I'm yeah. not going to any other horse racing events from now on without putting some money down. But then, what do I go to look for? Like, what do I look for in a horse or in a... Do I just go based on what everyone else is doing from, like, a ranking perspective? Do I be safe? Do I be risky? How do you know what to look for? The, if there's... There's 14 contestants in a race. Theoretically, all 14 have got a chance of winning. Okay. So your, your professional punters or those who think they're professional punters have study the form. Mm. Um, they, they look at where the horse ran last time, the jockeys that are riding it, the good jockey. There's obviously jockeys that are better than other jockeys. Yeah. There's jockeys that are doing well at this present time. So the, punter, the, the public and the punters tend to follow you know, what, what's been happening recently and, they, and then they will come to a, a decision. But there's nothing to stop you saying, oh, uh, there's a horse running called uh, Lunchtime and <laughs> oh, I've just eaten lunch, you know, and maybe I want to go and back that. So, and people do do those kind of things okay. and sometimes the luck's with you. But it doesn't really make sense to me because you've got your betting odds which are slightly different. I mean, they, they differ from horse to horse, which means that obviously the likelihood of that horse winning is not, not as high for whoever set up that race. 100%. Though. Okay, so, so, you to... so your favourite is obviously obviously got a better okay. chance than winning. And those odds that, 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 that we displayed yesterday actually will reflect which horses have got a better uh -huh. chance of winning than the next. Okay, so it's actually, the first time, yeah. I just follow those for now. But it doesn't mean it always, it's not run on paper. Okay, cool. The odds are done on paper. Uh -huh or on the television, but they run on grass. Okay. And anything can happen. Okay, anything can happen on that field, you know, anything could go wrong on the exactly. day. So, you know, put your money where you think is, you're feeling, exactly. feeling is correct. And now listen, in terms of your personal favorites, I'd love to hear from you what your thoughts are on, on who, who they're going to be. But I, I also feel like your voice is such a perfect one for horse racing. Don't you want to do it in like a horse racer's like? No, I'm not an a commentator. Voice. I'm not really a commentator. You got one of those voices, I think we'll just be you able to like so. run through those names really fast. Yes, name like throw, them. You're like throwing me that hospital yes. pass. You're on okay. my show and now we're going to entertain Entertainment show, let's entertain us while learning about betting. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't come to make a fool of myself. <laughs> but what I can say is that this year's race is really an open race. Yeah. And if you look at the betting, uh, the odds are 9 to 2, the, the, sure. the, the favourite in the race, which is really wide betting for it. Yeah. There's no real pinpoint to say mm. this horse has got a really good chance. Okay. So it's basically everything in the race has really got some type of chance and everybody will make, be making a case for something mm. to win. Mm. I think we need to look for some value somewhere. When I say value, where you, the, you get a bigger return for, the, for your investment. Yeah. And I got a sneaky feeling for a horse at 14 to 1. Okay. She's a filly called Nightingale. Mm -hmm. So and just keep an eye out for Nightingale as well. I've got a name. sneaky feeling. If mm. I was having a bet, cool. if I was a punter and I wasn't a bookmaker, then maybe I would consider putting a few rand each way. Because if, if, sure. if, if she finishes in the first four, and you take a place bet, then you still win. Okay, so up to four is a place bet. Correct. Oh my word, amazing. So first, right. second, third or fourth, and you, you win on a place bet. I refuse to only look good and strut down the grass. I'm now going to put money on these different races that I go to. So thanks for sharing all this information. I've, I've learned a lot from you, Dean. Thank I'm you, thank glad. you, thank you. I look forward to seeing you. Sure. He won't make a fool of himself on the show, but I will. On your marks, get set and go. As we start the journey into the heart of the Vodacom Durban July, it's one of the most spectacular and over-the-top sporting events on the South African calendar every single year. Now, guests are invited to enjoy a day filled with fabulous fashion, groundbreaking music and horse racing like no other and it's all going down this weekend.